No, it's going to be Sheik. Will right now is not very confident in his DK. He said his DK hasn't been playing well today. And, uh, you know, after I was able to two-stock him after getting an early kill on Smashville's platform, he just he said he's going Sheik for the rest of the day. But uh, this is definitely going to be a hype match. Interesting. We saw Ninja Link take out um, Snakey, a very good Rosalina player. He took him out Ooh, two, really? two stock game one, and then it was close game two, but he pulled it out. Just very solid Mega Man, just uh, using plenty of options. It's hard to read what he's going to do next. That makes kind of sad. Snakey's my boy, too. Yeah, I took out Snakey in winner's bracket, and then Ninja Link took him out in uh, losers. Oh, so, well. So uh, here's game one, Battlefield. Um, I'm a little bit will. surprised about this choice. Don't we see Smashville? <laughs> Yeah, but I like the change. Okay, so I actually have a bit of Sheik, so I kind of the matchup. For the most part, if Sheik just throws as Mega Man, like, Mega Man has to respect it so much, and that dictates the entire matchup. What I want to see from Will here is pressure, rush down. He says that when he gets when he gets nervous, he tends to play very passive, and, you know, I feel like Sheik can play passive and safe, but against a character like Mega Man who wants to zone you out, you kind of want to just be in his face. And with Will particularly, he's not a player that is very good at being passive. He's a player that is great at just like applying pressure and making you afraid of everything. And you see Will jumping off of Rush and getting that boosted double jump. And Ooh, right nice now, back air. Right now, Will with about a 20% lead, but that doesn't really mean much. He needs to get damage pretty high to get that kill. Yeah, I was about to say, generally speaking, like if she's not about 50% or higher like damage-wise, she's losing or at least tied. Like, I call this an even match right now. Pretty the fact that Mega Man can probably kill a couple more hits and up tilt. BC has got Fiend for those uh, ledge trumps and back airs, and Fiend for those down off stage. But Will definitely showing a little bit of the IQ HQ shock special, just playing very aggressive. Right now he's up 60%. But how is he going to find this first stock? Ninja Link being a very good recover. He still has his double jump. He's not going to use it. Is it just me, or is it like hard nice. to tell the characters apart on the background of the stage by the fact that they're the same color? Ninja Link still has his double jump. He uppies and then double jumps. Ninja Link special. Not many Mega Mans do that. Right now, if Will doesn't get this stock, like the Buzz said, he's not actually in the lead. Mega Man has so many kill options with 159% oh. of rage. And Will going to get back aired by the ledge. Like I said, 159% of rage. That's going to take him out. And oh, man. I did not expect it to kill at all. Like that was in the cusp of it. And now Will being at six percent is going to have zero rage, so it's going to be very hard for him to find this first stock. I expect Ninja Link to live to about two hundred percent, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. He's already at one seventy. He uses the jab or the neutral air right there to stop the bouncing fish, and Ninja Link just being obsessed with this first stock. That neutral air, by the way, is probably one of the best like moves when you have a lead. It just keeps you pulling out, does a little bit of chip damage, and overall is safe. So if you have a stock lead, just feel free to use as much as you can to build that free damage. And you can see back areas. You can see him trying to get some sort of kill here. Forward air will not kill yet. Back air not going to take him out across the stage. That wasn't sweet spot. Maybe with the sweet spot that would have killed, but... I would hope at 187 right now, what options does he have to kill? Um, I feel like pretty soon a forward tilt will even take him out. Yeah, I think another back air might kill him right now, though, with rage, honestly. Oh, definitely. A back air, an up air, any smash attack. But Sheik, being such a good character, still has trouble setting up these kill options. I meant, like, Mega Man, like, any of his stuff would probably kill because of rage. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started on rage. 204% rage. Oh. And then Battlefield on the left side, actually, the, the mechanics are a little bit different on that left side. It looks like it's curved, but it, it's kind of like an imaginary wall. Really? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't that, if you up be into the stage, you could bounce off of it and up be again. On that side of Battlefield, it never bounces off. It just stumps them, kind of like what we just saw right there with uh, Sheik's up beat. That actually explains a lot. So, but the right side's a regular curve, The right, right side's a regular curve. It's very deceptive. I'm going to have to write that out like my notebook <laughs> at some point. You, you have to test it out and double check, but... The, the amount of times I've tried to recover with Ness on the left side and it doesn't work like, like it does on the right side. The run back on Battlefield. So I guess Will's confident on Battlefield. He just needs to learn, just needs to figure out how to get this this, this kill option. Because right there, I believe he did more damage than Ninja Link did in the whole match. But it was all on one stop. Yep. And keep in mind, this is only 2 out 3 because this is quarterfinals. Yes. This is not even loser sent. And he rolls he through Mega Man up. and gets the Sticky Bomb back on him. Now, I don't like this choice of going Battlefield again. I feel like versus Mega Man. You don't want to give him platforms, especially with a Sheikah character who just like uses platforms to juggle well, but in the neutral, platforms hurt her a lot. 
I'd rather go with FD Valshik in this matchup. And this first oh, game is hard this read. first game is the opposite of the, the, uh, the second game is opposite of how the first game went. Will had a great lead going into the first one, and now he's actually down. Oh my god, Ninja like is caught, like reading him so hard right now. I don't know how to play it. Well, he obviously knows this matchup. It seemed like he really knew the Rosalina matchup as well. But, uh, you know, it, I feel like most people that don't use the top tier characters know the matchup against the top tiers because all their friends. And the up smash is going to linger and it's going to catch Will. Right now, Ninja Link only at 57, 67% of his first stock. And then oh, the give. Nice. That was quintessential that, that to this was... comeback. The neutral layer off the stage, get the ledge spike, and now it's a tie game. So, damage yeah, opportunity perfectly. Yeah, Might as well, first stock not even happen. Oh, goes for the read, but this time it. Yeah, he did get the read, but he missed time, but you're right. It's a very thing to time when someone gets up. There's a very like small window where they're vulnerable, actually. Here we go. We'll catch a little bit momentum, but as we saw in the first game, percent doesn't really matter when you're fighting against Sheik. If you could stay alive at high percent, you're actually in the advantage having that rage back there and having your knockback. Yeah, I'm seeing now a Ninja Link top took, I think, 13th place Apex, maybe 9th. Did he get that far? He got top 16 for sure, I know that. I know nice. it wasn't top 8. You can see why now. Definitely a very strong Mega Man, main, uh, Mega Man main from the East Coast. Heart of Empire Arcadia. And right now with a 40% lead on DK Will's Sheik and he, map control. He just knows this matchup so well. I know Will has like experience versus Minty Flesh in this matchup, but I guess Minty Flesh doesn't play nearly the same. Minty Flesh, yeah. Flesh plays a more rushdown, a more grab oriented. He knows how to zone. He's very good with the neutral air and the jab, but. I, think, I feel like Minty Flesh plays Ooh. very this like, is, defensive compared to this. This is, this is what Will wants right here. <gasps> Oh, wow. That was Ninja Link there. actually air dodged, and because of the air dodge, he didn't grab the ledge. If he didn't input that air dodge, he would have grabbed the ledge safely, but I guess he was trying to air dodge onto the stage, hoping that he would dodge whatever attack Will might have thrown up throughout. Definitely. That, or he just panicked and air dodge. I know people sometimes into that, where it is just air dodge off stage for no reason. So for a second there, it was looking really grim for Will, right. but with that, nair, neut that neutral area uh, stage spike on that first stock, giving him a breath of life, and now he's going into game three. This is tiebreaker. Both players on their tournament life here. Now, I expect to see a stage like Halberd or Talon City where Mega Man can kill even earlier. Just because Mega Man kills vertically and Sheik doesn't really kill vertically. Unless she lands like a good tip up smash. So, if you see Halberd or Talon City, I call it. Yeah, I definitely don't see a Battlefield coming back here. Even though Ninja League seems very comfortable on Battlefield. There oh, we well, go. Okay, yeah. there we go. Wow, so wow. the triple Battlefield. Both players feeling pretty confident with these platforms. And, yeah. um, I'm very surprised Will let him go back to Valkyrie. I feel like that game two was like kind of lucky for Will and like that early kill and then the SD. Well, that's the thing. With Sheik, you don't kill early, but Sheik has so much mobility that in most matchups, she wants to go for a Gimp, a stage spike, uh, some way to get up, get them out of their double dump. Ooh, and and you're seeing Will right now establish stage control. Oh, no! no! And right there, what you guys saw was Will jumped off the stage trying to get a ledge trump, and at the same time, he misinputted the ledge trump. Ninja Link did a get up attack, which happens to hit under the stage. And it always stage spikes. Get right, and it the hits stage. the person up. So if the person is under the stage and it hits them up into the stage, it stage spikes them. Will still had a double jump, but he inputted an attack, buffered, and because of that, he wasn't able to double jump up B. I don't think he had a double jump there because I think he tried jumping off the ledge. It looked if like he just ran off. No, because he like jumped. The thing is, if you jump off ledge, you lose the missability immediately. If you do anything besides jump like towards the stage, and he did that, so he didn't have a jump. Wow, so, so definitely a turn of events right now. Will's going to be going. He has to make a lot up right now. This is really bad. And what he's going to be going for is an off-stage gimp kill, maybe a stage spike. What I want to see Will nice go for right now is like up -bees. like some sort of like medium risk, high reward kill move, like up -bees, maybe forward smash. You know, he has to get something. He can't like make my build like 100% before he dies. Well, I've played against Will a lot, and he's not too comfortable <gasps> getting that up B kill. What he is good at doing is getting, you know, stay uh, Oh, that oh. was definitely a good opportunity for an up air or an up B, as you said. Yeah, or even a back air there, but he misspaced it. I think he thought Ninja Link was going to DIY. Oh, that could have been the stock. And at this point, Ninja Link, because of that first stock... Oh, that's so creative! It's going to be very hard for Will to bring this back. Gets yeah. the bounce of It's not over yet, though. You know what Sheik does. Down throw, forward air, forward air, forward air, forward air. Ten times later, down B. Stock. So maybe we'll see something like that. 
Wow. And oh. The force mass punishing the regular getup. The three frames of vulnerability actually getting I hit by that. I thought it was one frame or two frames. Yeah. Regardless. Either yeah. way, a very small window, very well timed forward smash by Ninja Link, yeah. and he's gonna take that two one. That was definitely a max range forward smash too. That like was half a battlefield, no charge, which is I didn't even know it went that far. That's ridiculous. He's definitely practiced that setup exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know he knows the magic for sure. That was that was an impressive set by Ninja Link. Yeah. Very interesting some of those gimp kills though, you know. Well, game two, Will got that neutral air stage spike, and that pretty much got him game two. In game three, Ninja Link got a very, very rare uh, get up attack stage spike. Like, how often do you see that? Um, very, very rarely. Yeah, Most people know to avoid that by now. Exactly. But so, you, know, you get caught by things like that every now and then just playing this game, especially as Sheik, who has to challenge people on the ledge. Yeah, and it, it just happening in a tournament set, you know, playing for, I think I was playing for top six and happening in a tie break map it's very unfortunate for will but uh ninja link i don't know if he did it on purpose or not but you know you don't usually see a get up attack so maybe he did the get up attack there hoping that something like that might happen and it's very much a possibility you know like people know about this now people plan about this like there's similar things happen with other characters you know i just at this point went back to Balfour though that was not the smartest choice in my opinion i wonder what they strike game one like who strikes smash from who strike fd yeah Maybe they didn't strike him. Maybe they just both kept both players, like we saw, Will counterpicked and he went battlefield, and then Ninja Link lost and he counterpicked and he went battlefield. Yeah, so both players agreed to it. Confident in that map. I was so surprised. Anyway, you they say just called us. Oh, they did. So this is uh, J Ribs IQ HQ zone, and then we got X Fire IQ HQ to buzz. We're about to play our winners finals match. Which is um, both luck, especially me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't go anywhere. Like we said, we have this non-customs coming down to like the top four players right now, and then we have a customs bracket going to be right after that. So uh, plenty of Smash Brothers uh, gameplay coming up soon. I'm very excited for customs bracket. I think it's going to be like, what, 40 people? Lots of exciting things that happen. Yeah, I'm joining the customs bracket using a non-custom moveset. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <you really? laughs> yes. Hey, that, that works, not for nothing. It's been tested, and you can pick your regular stuff and still do good, not for yeah. nothing. Oh, uh, so it's uh, winners finals next. All right. Yep. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks All right. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got winners finals coming up next. It should be real exciting. The custom tournament is going to start very soon. So make sure to look out for it, everyone. In the meantime, it's going to be just who we saw on the mic. Hope you enjoyed their commentary. But now they're going to play and they're going to body each other. Winners finals it is. IQ HQ X Fire the Buzz. Uh, known for his Rosalina, but he has a few other good characters at his disposal. And then we have J Ribs, who I believe has been playing up uh, Diddy today. Diddy Kong, yeah, he's cheap. Can't stop him. <laughs> 